Mark now. Still there, the Exeter City fans singing behind us. It's been a great end to the match for them there. And uh, three points for Exeter City. Just a rea reaction from them on it. Well, look, you're delighted because you win the game. But even if we'd have got beaten in the last 10 minutes, or even if it had been a draw, I'd have said the same thing. We, we were. We executed a game plan in that second period. Um, disappointing with the red card, disappointing for Ryan, because um, that was a, a two big mistakes on his part. But the way the team dug in and, and stuck to a task in that second period was, was simply outstanding. And look, we scored a goal in the 90, whatever it is, minute. We've conceded a few of them this season. So it's just nice to be on the, on the, the better side of a, a last minute goal. And not just a last minute goal, probably a 94th, 95th minute goal, where there's nothing left in the game. So look, the, the fans are there because they've seen the, the group of players and, and the staff and everyone connected with the club give absolutely everything they possibly can um, for that 96 minutes of the game. And luckily, luckily, we got three points at the end. Yeah, it was a really hard working and disciplined performance, wasn't it? Um, was yeah, yeah but it had, it had to be, had to be. You go down to 10, 10 men on a pitch like this it, against a good team, not scary, a good team, it had to be disciplined. And we, we couldn't sacrifice too many players beyond the ball because we knew that they'd hurt the space. Um, we sacrificed the outside of the pitch and invited crosses in our box and defended the box really well. Just spoke to Christy there and he's probably not had a, a serious save to make throughout the game. He's, he's done bits and pieces, but not a serious save to make throughout the game, which is testament to the boys in front of him. So like I say, look, stuck to the task, it's three points, but now I've got a group of tired bodies. I've got another player suspended on the back of the injury problems we've got. We've got a massive game next weekend now. As much as we're going to enjoy this moment, I'm already thinking about next weekend. In terms of uh, Ryan Bowman sending off, um, any complaints? In Look, I, I don't want to comment too much about the referee, but I think anyone who's here today could see the first 30 seconds of that game, the, the mindset of the referee. And that, that's all I want to say, because like I say, people are here today, you could just see that maybe the occasion, the crowd, the size of the club, the, the pressure on Box County and the pressure on ourselves was too much today. Um, and he was just too quick to make those decisions and too quick to pull out those cards. Look, if the, if the two bookings, I've got no complaints, but then it's got to go both ways. There were more poor tackles in the game. There can't just be two bookings in the first 10 minutes and then nothing else for the rest of the game. It's, it's incredible, but it should, the story should not be about the, the referee's performance. It should not be about Ryan Bowman's sending off. It should be about that, that group of players and, and those fans behind me. Um, you said a few weeks ago that the, the key to a promotion winning side is being solid at the back and getting get those clean sheets in the running. How much confidence do you take from, from this result today that you, to keep a clean sheet with 10 men? Yeah, yeah you know, Troy, game's first game in, uh, Troy Brown's first game in six months. He, he wasn't down to play 90 minutes, he wasn't even down to play and he had to play the whole game with 10 men, pretty much the whole game. You know, it's testament to his character and the work he's done with the physios and the SNC stuff. I've, I've had him for five or six games now this season. He's been an important player for Exeter City for a number of years, so he's been at the heart of that defence today and you probably saw what we've missed throughout the season. But it's, it's only one game. He's got to now do that for the next eight games. Dean Moxie's got to do that for the next eight games. Kane Wilson, Pierce Sweeney with under the weather with the chicken pox bug, um, came on early and was, was, was exactly like he, he'd been before he went away. That, that's what I need from my group of players. I need bodies ready to play and stepping in and, and performing at the peak. I, I've said before that we're going to get stronger because you know I had to take Hiram off. He was dead, dead on his feet. No one, no one remembers he's been out for five months. Nicky Law's still not fully, fully fit and he got through it. So I can't be more proud of that group of players. We've got to get stronger, but it's easy me saying we've got to get stronger than actually producing it. We've got a massive game next weekend and I've got to look at the personnel I've got available and pick the right team.